Hey you, welcome to my channel. I'm Camille. I will be giving you an update on my face, my hair, my burn blister, everything. So my face has gone through some pimples and one more pimple as well as acne scars. So we are going to um, turn over some cells after we apply some petroleum jelly to my lips. They are prone to getting dry and looking dehydrated during the summer. So we have that near the bed so that I can hopefully go to sleep, bast in that and all that jazz. So this retinol face mask, 15 minutes, but I think I left it on for 10, maybe 13 minutes or 14. I forgot to time it once it applied to my face. So I said 10 minutes later, we'll take it off. Regardless if it was only 12 or less than five minutes prior to timing the remaining 10 minutes. Rub a little bit of it on just to make it feel nice. Cause I want to resurface those scars so that they are non-existent. We'll get a foam cleanser, which I'm pretty much keen to just wanting to do from cleansers over a cream or a gel but if i wanted to choose i would choose i would want a gel cleanser next after a foam cleanser if it was not available i will rinse off my face dry it a little bit but not too much to use a vitamin c vitamin c and retinol are a perfect duo and a little moisturizer so here's a burn brister from a curl wand I use to curl my hair it looks beautiful doesn't it I like it it looks magnificent so with that in mind it does look a little frizzy and it took two hours mainly because I was watching a movie I was watching the Ninja Turtles, the, the live action one. Okay, so this is a, the Bounce Girl Defining Brush. It has seen a lot of hair. Now, the issue is I use it as a detangling brush. It's not meant for that. So as you can see, I am able to pull these bristles out. And another thing, I don't have the product to clean the brush either. And I need to be more diligent about that cleaning this brush so that I can have it longer than it's already been in my life. So this is the curl wand I used. I don't know the size, maybe an inch or half, an in, or half an inch, I don't know. But Jose Ember, um, it swivels, which is very convenient. You don't have to be tangling yourself in the wire. Here's the pulse, the, the blister is bulging a bit. This is a pomade I'm going to apply to my hair so that it can look silky and tame the frizz in the front at least. Because I didn't apply the pomade too much to the rest of my hair because it was kind of hard to manage the product and it takes a while for that product to come off my hands after as much as you use Dawn soap and regular soap, dial soap, and all this stuff. It's a very durable product. But yeah, I, you can see I didn't pay too much atten attention to the ends and making that together. But so the remaining hair looks beautiful, did you think? I was happy. I was like on cloud nine and just look cute and everything. Now, the blister is starting to, you can see the wrinkled skin these are five bristles that fell out of the hair, out of the, the brush, f into my hair sometimes, and all that jazz. This is the next day. Yeah, this is what my hair looked like the next day. Yeah, my, my bad. It's my fault. Anyways, next time I must preserve its structure. Okay, I'm gonna go back. So if you don't like to see this stuff, please click off. So here's the blister. It's 
it might have popped because now it's the skin's flat i've been wearing a band-aid every day not allowing it to breathe because i don't want it to scar and i took a bath only to see that it ripped so put that back together vaseline band-aid and that's it and you can see that the band-aid starting to irritate my skin around it I put a little um, band of Coban to secure the band-aid while I sleep and throughout the day. And then several days later, um, I take off everything and let it breathe, only to see that it's starting to dry out the skin above it that blistered. So I just peeled it off, it didn't hurt, it was ready. So this is two days ago for me. It's nice and shiny of a scar. Irritation from the band-aid sticky tape residue. So I use rubbing alcohol, a triple antibiotic ointment that expires this month in June, and then a itchy cream and two band-aids. And that's it. Like and subscribe. And as always, embrace joy.